Thank you all for giving me the opportunity to speak at this inaugural industry event. Diversity and inclusion are incredibly important to me and an increasing priority right across government. This last year has demonstrated that the creative industries are not only adaptable, but that they are resilient. Whilst the social and economic impacts of COVID-19 are clearly very significant, it's my belief that we can harness what has happened to make positive changes in the advertising industry. We are all emerging from one of the most worrying and uncertain periods in recent history. And I know that the initial shock to the economy of COVID-19 led to significant reductions in advertising revenues. I'm really pleased to see there's now evidence of recovery and that the sector is on track to grow this year. So this is a great opportunity to step back, look at the individuals who make up this incredibly important sector. We need to ensure that we are equipping future generations to grow the creative legacy that this industry has cultivated. The first phase of the All In Action Plan will tackle some of these core issues. I know we all spend a significant amount of time working and so it's really important that anyone employed within the creative industries feels included and empowered. In turn, this means the individuals within our organisations can flourish and the sector as a whole can continue to lead the world and the work that we produce is as representative as possible. I'm really impressed to see that the Inclusion Working Group has been so impactful in the very short time since its inception. From initially meeting in September to conducting the largest ever advertising workforce study in March to presenting their all in action plan here today. The pace at which they have delivered this program of work is really admirable. The work you will hear about today is the result of collaboration between the Advertising Association, ISBA, IPA and Cantar. The all in census marks a pivotal moment in improving representation across the advertising landscape. As we've seen this morning, we now have some powerful data from which we can benchmark progress. With so much information, it would be tempting to try and solve all the issues. However, the strategy of tackling a few core issues at a time will prove the most effective. The All In Action Plan firstly highlights the importance of the experience and representation of black talent in the advertising industry. The census showed us that while the initial recruitment of black talent is strong, retention rates drastically drop. Indeed, the census indicated that just 1% of C-suite colleagues are black. It's reassuring to see the response of the industry in this area, and I'm really encouraged to see that in some of the largest names in advertising are powering major initiatives around race in our sector. At the moment, the BRIM initiative is UK wide. However, there are plans to launch in the US and in Europe, and I believe this demonstrates the UK's willingness to set a global standard. We must lead by example where possible. The second strand in the action plan seeks to significantly improve the experience of disabled people in the advertising workforce. I think we can all agree the pandemic has really opened up new perspectives on where and how we work. Many people have effectively shifted to working from home or a kind of form of hybrid working where it has become increasingly possible to balance our lives in new ways. This has accelerated conversations about working with colleagues who have different abilities. Of course, this new reliance on tech means we must work harder to ensure that our digital platforms are accessible for all. We know that 10 million people in the UK have accessibility challenges, equating to around 15% of our population. With that many people unable to access your website, it already has real economic costs and social implications. This is a real opportunity for companies up and down the country, large and small, to audit their company website and ensure that it does meet the latest accessibility standards. The third and final strand of the action plan aims to improve the experience and representation of talent from much wider range of backgrounds. To date, the advertising industry is predominantly made up of the privately school educated and university graduates. Promoting social mobility is really core to the government's agenda. Including this as a key action ensures that we are harnessing a diversity of perspectives and building an even stronger and more inclusive industry. The government has initiatives which will support this action point, including our apprenticeships and our kickstart programmes, which are run in partnership with the Department of Education and the Department for Work and Pensions. 
Increasing apprenticeships in the creative industries is hugely important, providing individuals with an alternative route into the workforce and employers with the skills they need as they recover from the pandemic. We are also working to signpost opportunities for creative employers to get involved in the Kickstart scheme. This scheme provides funding for employers to create six month job placements for 16 to 24 year olds on universal credit in the hope that this gives them a springboard to launch their careers. To date, employers in the creative industries have advertised 8,000 opportunities with over 2,000 placements currently in train. That's a huge achievement considering the scheme only launched in September. These initiatives will contribute to allowing everyone with talent and ambition, regardless of their background, to have the opportunity to build a successful career in the creative industries. As you've heard, the call for action is for you all to use the Social Mobility Commission's toolkit. Asking your HR team to include just three key questions will give you a firm basis on which to develop an informed strategy for improving social mobility. At DCMS, we launched our own diversity strategy with the aim of becoming the most diverse department by 2025. One of the areas of focus for my department is modelling what best practice looks like. It's been really great to see firsthand, therefore, our most prominent organisations such as Yuki, the BFI and the UK Music, who provide an excellent example of how these changes can be implemented in a real world setting. I'm really excited to see how the All In Action Plan will unfold and evolve over the coming weeks, months and years. For me, inclusion is a core issue. It speaks to the heart of the UK. We are a culturally rich nation which is on an upward trajectory to become even more diverse and we need to take action to hold ourselves accountable, to lock in and to build on the progress we are making. All of you watching have a real opportunity to be part of that change and to really make a difference. Thank you again. Enjoy the rest of the summit.